Right, a very good evening to you. Welcome to Chit Chat Live right here on YTF4 TV, your favorite youth channel. How are you doing? I hope you've had a great day. You've had a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to have a great show. And if you're joining us for the first time, now at Chit Chat, we're just all about gossip, trending topics that have been making news all week. That's what we talk about. We do a roundup, all right? Now, my name is Philine at Philine Jean on all social media pages. And guess what? I have the gang gang in studio representing presenting today nakama kawaida i'm gonna start with our very own so uh, cjc <laughs> as we call her <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I can't wait. I I the last mm. three weeks to three weeks in in so <laughs> <we are. laughs> Hi, so, yeah, so guys so saying, I get to miss it's another Thursday kama mm. kawaida mm -hmm. and stay tuned tumekuja hata yeah. kama mtaki drama tuko nazo sisi tunatafuta mpaka tunazipata shai. of course of course shai we got tea, we got the yeah. sauce we got the juice we got the good good Dennis a headmaster what's up how you doing <laughs> mwalimu <laughs> lazima tu uweke tu your jina headmaster hapo ndani yani intro ilikuwa imesambamba vizuri yeah, yeah, Dennis. Hey, Dennis. ni yule Dennis ni yule Dennis headmaster ni nini okay sawa niliwambia kwanza mtaanza kuniita bob nyinyi anyway ladies and gentlemen ni wakati wa kuniwekea remote na hapa nyuma kwa sababu Babu ni wakati wakachai. Waka Ladies and gentlemen, the room is officially open. open. All right, that's what's up. Now let's get started with our first story right here. And American actor and singer Rotimi, better known as Dre, based on his role in the series Power, and his Tanzanian fiancé singer Vanessa Mday on Tuesday revealed to the world that they were expecting their first child together. Now speaking to People magazine, the two revealed that they were expecting a baby boy soon. They said, we are super excited to welcome our son at first as first time parents rather everything about it about this experience has been a brand new challenge and we love it end of quote now the two got engaged shortly after they started dating in december 2020 in atlanta and have since moved in together Mbeh. Mbeh. i know all right now just here's another thing yeah. vanessa's ex that is jukes guess what he did Ngoma. he released a song just to wish them well let's have a listen <laughs> Una wa mere meta ngosi ime na wiri una furana Kitanda akina siri zaura tendo una kitumbo wao All right so so many things to talk about first of all ha Huh. Do you know Kim and Kanye, <laughs> during their whole relationship, they had that one factor, and that is RJ. The one constant factor in their relationship. Up to now. RJ. The RJ is that one ex who never goes away. <laughs> we now, all have that one ex. Is Jux going to be the same for Vanessa? I don't know what is happening. <laughs> like, uh, from a man's perspective, Jux well, job. What Jux is happening? Job. Mm -hmm. do one. Kiki. He, Kiki, mekuja, you can't just leave Kiki it to just it. go. It is. You it, have to ride on that Yes, wave. imagine. Hata mimi ningekuwa Jux. Wamerifanya kitu na wako in public. Na mimi niko in public. Why not? Sika tombe katambe. Tuko job. Yeah. yeah, we gotta get bills like it. No, okay. it's, it's true. Jukes, I really hope this thing works out for you. Vile inafaa wewe, kula vile inafaa wakati wanafanya vitu yao, wewe unatengeneza pesa. Ama, what is, what is the other thing you want to get from this? Wacheni kuwekelea Jukes at ya mebado akona holding feelings. No, but this is the second song. Kuna ngomo alitoa, there's a guy they had a collab together with not so long ago, wakati wangoma, and Jukes was like, ati Vanessa, wanini, sijui ni nini, nini, aka dis Vanessa, aka dis Vanessa, ati nikama watachana tu or something. That's so now they're, 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 they're pregnant, he's like, Sina neno, sina neno. Like, I don't know, JC, 
he is he that one x we are talking about yes we mm -hmm. all have that one x but we move on vitu zako zinaenda vizuri boom and reappear from nowhere okay. boom and mm -hmm. ana angukanga tu from anakuja unampata tu ndiye huyo hapo jukes ni huyo mse unasikia hiyo wimbo kwanza why mbona alitaim angekuwa ametutolea like two weeks ago before mm -hmm. tujue Vanessa is pregnant lakini sasa si lazima no, tujue ndio atoe no ali take time you took your time to do this bra So, eh? so probably he knew. Isha hit yes people knew. No. Acha hata ungeangalia kwa comments za Vanessa hmm. wase close na yeye kaka kinazari walikuwa wanamwambia mama like it's like watu wana wanajua wase wanywa kwa close na yeye walikuwa wanajua. Yeah. Yeah. Hapo hata mimi nilikuwa nishajua last week tuli analyze picha zake na bestie yangu tukarealize hakuna picha wamepiga full in a long time ukiona routine. Aki Kenyans this so, on Twitter. Eh, mimi mimi mnatoanga hivi. Hami, no, 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 Ama singe kuwa good at it, yeah. singe kuwa hapa. So, yeah. We saw that. Yeah. Uh, are we excited for Vanessa? You see, I saw everybody was posting my name on social media. They were even trending on social media. Rotimi was trending and just the perfect time because he just released his album the other day. Like, are we excited, Jesse, for yeah. her, for them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really excited. How are you feeling about that? I'm so happy because uh, looking back at her relationship with Jukes, ukiangalia I'm saying na date na mse for six years. That's a long Hakuna time. Kitu, ata anakupea, ata commitment ring. There's That's nothing that he's giving time. you to assure you that he'll be there forever. Yeah. And then wakati una move on unakuwa happy ndio uko busy uko studio. Wewe enda tu studio zidi kutoa ngoma wewe. <laughs> Wacha watu wakue happy. Wewe zidi tu. Like I'm so happy for them. I know. I'm right? happy for the fact that uh, men are trying to to do now what we thought our grandparents did vile guka na shosho walikuwa wanaonana hawakai miezi tatu washaoana mashika ilifika point generation yetu tunafikiria the more you date with someone the more anakuwa sure si wana zamanga kujuana na hiyo kujuana inaletanga familiarity people never used to move in together or something yeah yeah mnakuwa brother and sister mnafika mahali hata anaona hezi kuoa exactly it's it's true unakuwa mrange ile kweli hebu imagine mtu hajawahi kupikia umeishi tu kudate mnini kidogo kidogo unataka sasa anza kukupikia after 3 years wewe uko na nini nakusumbua <laughs> Dennis, now let me get this straight. They say men when they meet a woman, yes. they all, they always see they know if this is going to be yes, the one I or not. <laughs> so, let's see. <laughs> in just, let me just give you a, a few examples. So, when ladies are out here in the streets of social media, wana kuangazilia za, "Ah, Mzee Ciara, tell us how you prayed." I don't know, Jaden Sparks, tell us how you prayed. You see? You see? You see? And now they're like the the, the God of when I'm there. I call up on you <laughs> so is that true is that true like men jukes and mekanu them six years yes mm. didn't engage her mm. didn't marry her never nothing. got pregnant nothing i'm like one year roti one year engagement gari living together oko akambaya gari gari akaibua wimbo juzi tu after i can pay a door like gives any any he's so happy he found her you, you understand see, so i'm trying to understand like what is so happening proud of her. yeah you see uh -huh. men always know yeah Aji. first date unajuaga huyu utapeleka kwenu ama huyu mm -hmm. is a pass mm -hmm. First date. Yeah. I'll tell you for free by the ladies out there. Ina kuanga the first day. Watana ni mambo atisijui at your first appearance. Yeye ni first sight yenu ni akujua ni wifi. Kwanza tu utajua kama huyu. One kuna tu tu vitu tu tudogo tudogo unaanzaga kuona. Ni vile. Aki wacha nikwambie kuna vitu. But let me tell you. Uh, every man has his own uh, type. type. Mm -hmm. So the moment that type shows up. Na chenye anataka. Akikuja tu kuna zingine unasema anga tuta overlook. Yeah. Aki wow. akiingia tu unajuanga hii naweza bend ama siwezi bend yeah. naweza deal ama siwezi deal. Wow. Yeah. First time. The first day. So do. you mean Let me Some... tell you something. You see according to people magazine yeah. I was reading um what they said. Rotimi alisema hivi like they met um they met in US. Vanessa was there for like an event or something. And yeah. she attended an event. That's how they met. Vanessa came back to Africa. Rotimi stayed And then they started talking and he was like he got to like pattern and I'm saying then they started talking and he was like you know what this you're is coming not? you're moving yes like wow. no no just say him US kuna madem wangapi alipita wastana what all the Africa Africa he's like you know what unatoka Tanzania 
you are coming to the US and you're going to be my wife just like that na nitakunumia range for uh-huh. uh-huh. that that happens yeah unapata nanga na mse by the way i know of so many friends of mine when they aki walikuwa gawale unajua wale center of attraction mm. Kidogo kidogo he just disappears from that circle. Hata amalizi mwaka. Yeah. Kidogo kidogo anatuambia majamaa mnajua mtakuja kutembea nje hey, hii. Mama unauliza eh? Eh? I know. Na bora ni talk na bora unapata unapata ah ah moja una unakuta udem tulimuona once. Hata tumjuaji once. Now like you know let me tell you something very funny. Men are very jealous creatures. Very jealous. We protect what we love. Mm-hmm. Ikifikaga hiyo siku kama ni huyu haki ya mtawai muona. Huyo ameenda missing. Ah wewe ni ule mbogi wa hata hiyo 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 statement ya kufichwa. Uh-huh. Nitakufichwa ndio hii unafichwa. Ngoja ngoja let me understand something. Ile yeah. ni unasemanga oh I met his friends, I met his boys, nothing. Hiyo that doesn't mean nothing. Kwanza I met my mom. Ni a mistake. Kwanza hata nikwambie kitu filimu sio kwa baya. Hii ndio sema namtanipiga ambao mna if you as a lady you may introduce you to your guys friends. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo group you realize wamesetto na mmoja wao probably ameanza kukukatia. Haki mm-hmm. wewe ni namba 20. Oh, kwa hiyo list close. wewe ni namba 20 mm-hmm. men one tunaheshimu hiyo ni brocode tunaheshimu men. Akiingia ukiingia tu kwa kwa hiyo zone ya mabeshte. Tatu minutes. Wana disappear ujuaji kwenye wanaenda. Oh, una really wana change location. Wanaanza ku disappear unashindwa tumebakiaji solo. Tulikuwa tumeenda ku meet friends wamejipa shughuli. Why? Hakuna kitu tunaambiana na main wa beshte yetu. Yeah. Ah, huyo mwingine. Like how he is acknowledging yes. how he's acknowledging at <laughs> when obviously mnakuanga wengi. Sasa so saying main. <laughs> no, no, I am like, like ha. Ati main akiingia. I'm like kuni mnakuanga wengi. Mimi kwa I don't think I want to tell him. Ati is main boyfriend is here. So Simu na kuanga hivyo pia. Sisi, is it 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 kwa mabeshte una introduce yangu in order mm-hmm. mimi najua mabeshte wangu and i know them from the order of dangerousness <laughs> siwezi jaribu kuna watu siwezi jaribu ku introduce kwa main kabla sijakuwa sure haki <laughs> ni ukweli hata nigeuzia why lie hapana <laughs> 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 Ni kwamba unaogopa mtu mnajuana tunajuana so uta realize mtu unaanza na ule ule mtu mmoja ni serious eh unaanza kuonesha the good side kidogo kidogo mmoja bumpy bumpy anatokea then anaanza kuingia tukue sasa serious hivyo before you come to know it you've met like 10 15 but you've not met them once so the day you're going to meet them they go like oh my god oh my god okay <laughs> Lakini uki realize umeingizwa tu alafu wameshaanza umeongo na namba. Wasiana msikubali, wanasemanga ukimiti mtu akuintroduce mabeshte zake they might be hotter ones than him. Yes. You know, so you have to wear your options you are like. Yes, that's the risk. You know, that's the risk. Yeye ndio mnaogopa. Mimi huwezi jaribu kucheza hiyo kazi. Haitakuuma vibaya. Sasa mnafichanga. Eh, unacheza safe. Ah, so unataka sisi tubaki na wewe kwenye unakaa kwa unataka. Wewe ni unataka unakuja kufanya nini Yeah, you know, okay. Na utaanza kunijudge from another yes, perspective. Yes, utaniona the other angle kwanza. Hiyo hiyo side utaiona. Na sisi tunatakanga kujua hiyo angle. Sasa hiyo side. Si ndio? Sisi mm-hmm. tunatakanga kwanza ama ndio hiyo natakanga ile side. Ukijua hiyo side uende. Alafu I was trying to hit on you. Ushaenda sasa. You know, I don't have the time. Lakini unataka unichukue uniweke kwa nyumba after ushaniweka pete ndio utanionyesha the other side Zee, of you. Zii, before tufike kwa pete, nitakuintroduce right. pole pole. Fanyeni hivi, fanyeni. <laughs> Story it's getting deep. Sasa mshaanza kutaka ni isha kwa dating show one on one. Cha we start receiving calls like hapo hapo wana kali wa mapenzi. Ndio, you are getting too deep. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> to be continued. 
continued. Sorry. Now the hashtag is chit chat. We're on Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> and Twitter as white. If I follow you have posts, go comment below. Uta me una to watch you tagani and your various contributions to stories we're covering today. And at the end of the show, we're gonna be sending some love your way. And then right now we move to the second story. Now, um blogger Edgar Barry, better known as T Master, earlier this week posted a video on his BNN page calling out the people who allegedly abducted his brother. In the video, Edgar questioned why his brother had to undergo such inhumane acts since he didn't do anything wrong apart from being his family. Edgar narrated of how a few weeks ago he sent his brother to pick a package for him at a local airport but due to unpaid tax for the package he was sent away and told to come back with a clearance fee to the customs office. Upon returning to settle the bill and to get the package, Obari's brother met some unknown men who posed as DCI detectives that kept him locked up in a room for hours demanding to know where Edgar was. His brother was later abducted and downed in Roy Sambo. Edgar is known for his bold exposés and recently lost his Instagram account after running an exposé on the Wash Wash saga that implicated prominent people in government and the entertainment industry. All right, we have a video of that. Let's have a look. My family and uh, so Saturday night I was informed that um, they kidnapped my brother. They kidnapped him, tortured him, and uh, they were more or less just trying to get information about my whereabouts and um, that's one of the scariest things of I'm so sad that he had to go through that and that some people in this country would go so low that now they're just going after my family and it just makes me sick in this country. If you hate how they get away with just anything and nothing is done. I was kidnapped last year in November and nothing was done. Last night they kidnapped my brother and nothing is probably gonna be done and they just keep getting away with this shit and it's i'd like to ask you to pray for my family and all right shout out to nairobi gossip for that one for you know cutting that page but shout out to edgar barry we got that from his bnn page but guys what is happening okay. are we should we be concerned on a serious note because the last time edgar issued that he even asked um guys like what do you think his uh, what do you call that? His bounty is like how much do you think uh, uh, his head is worth right I, now? I really because, hope he's safe. Right? Me too. I really hope he's safe because you hey, have to get here. No, no. but it's if I man the but mm -hmm. hey Joe, it's it's messed up. You may pick a point to make it messed up. As in mm -hmm. account here, KSG. Okay, he was just first a, his account disappeared. It was just an avenue. And then, that's a CM. CM, yeah. What when you want to pay an anger story are people who are close to you guys. That yeah. is what you should know. But then he has a platform, and pe people don't want that. Like, are we really bad off? Like, Kenya, is it really that bad? You see, is that how bad we are doing as a country? I mean, what's happening? Gagging has been there before, but mm -hmm. you know, you know, to see that it's happening and nobody's even talking about it. Exactly. Right. Equal to as in, it's happened mm -hmm. and it's as if it's normal. Exactly. Okay. As in, to normalize, normalize the bad normalize things. To normalize the bad things. To normalize the bad things. But you remember when he was posting that people who used to warn him, they're like, hey, Edgar, like, don't talk about so this and this family. Like, don't do this. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, don't talk about this person. Don't talk about this family. Don't talk about You see? But you see, those are the people when you are what to anafaku or ki attack. I understand. So are we just supposed to, like, sit back and fold our arms like nothing is happening? Like, what to do? and you wash wash or and you on attack and we just sit back and not talk about it it's, it's a failure that is very big bigger than even us as in bigger than everyone else because it's such yeah. from where it's supposed to be as in me i would i would personally think when he did that mm -hmm. it would be considered an asset to the state exactly as in literally when he asset is of it to all happy mm -hmm. as in buddha come to kaichini yeah. you are like give us maybe give us your sources and you're going to protect sourced. them yes as in you know, witness protection, vituka is, or I understand kuna vituka is. So, as in, when we get to a point that ukifanya kituka iyo, and it's not the first time, as Justin Media Council released a statement about gagging, even, not even now to personal bloggers' accounts and stuff, yeah. you even find in the media, 
As in, you do something, we say cancel culture, we send people to you, we do oh, stop mm -hmm. watching this, stop doing this. And it's, 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 it minimalizes you in a very funny way. Right, no, a, not a, everybody thought the way you guys are thinking. We saw the likes of Brigitte Chang and uh, Andrew Kibe. Yeah. Andrew Kibe was like, I feel nothing for your brother. I feel nothing for you. You had it coming. You had it coming and you deserve it. Do you think? He deserves what's happening to him, JC. Like, because, no. Alsema, your brother, you put your family t through that. You knew that was coming. Like, oh, what are we thinking? Of course not. Yeah, and Brigitte Cheng said that was karma that was meant to catch up with him eventually. Bridget, kwanza yu ni kando. Juyo, yu ata tukiongea saizi, itakuwa pablaya. Right. But this is it. Edgar, vile denotu wa mesema, hakuna msewa na muambia, Ha, mm -hmm. Sia na kuanga na hizo vitu. Edgar ajui anything. Yeah. Nyini, nyi, sisi ndio tunendanga huko. Watu wa chai. Hey, ata hii ni hivi. Ata na mjua. Ata we hang out with them. Ata hizo ata hizo receipts zenye zote mnatumanga. Like legit, legit receipts. Zina kuanga zimetoka wapi. Ni nyinyi mna kuanga na zo. So in all honesty, going to attack Edgar's younger brother. Kwanza ni younger brother. Yeah. Uliona vile, CJ yona Edgar ata akifanya lives zingine, ata zinyi amekua in worse cases, ata ile time alikuwa amekua kidnapped. Right. right. Now, hakuwa that sad. Just hold on, on that thought. You remember what the la his last comment? I was on his BNN page and he was like, you know what? Bye. So does that mean that he's done? Maybe we won't hear from him again? Like, that's it? Let me tell like, you. Because that, that would mean, like, they people tell already won. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something, Philin. Uneza kuko willing kufanya kitu. Like, the way he was saying, we are here to clean the streets. Yeah. Lakini ufike point, ata uone watu wenye wanafaa kuwa wakisaidiwa, hawasaidiki. The same people wenye wanampea chai, wanamuambia yeah, wow. titeke ya. Mna kuwa uwaga, mna, mna pata uwaga kusabobia kuonge ukweli. See. Like, no. to make a point, okay, so what, what would people have done? What do you think people are supposed to do? Should they, would they have taken to the streets no, but no. to demand that he should be fine and like nothing? What, like, what, what do you think people what should I'm do? I'm thinking, mm -hmm. okay, it's a process. It's a process as uh, a country grows. We yeah. are a third world country. To kiji compare na countries, kama states zenye wanafanyanga evo and TMZs wanakuanga hapo or mm. na shade room and you can't do anything to People them. even come to your house. Exactly. You and you na utawalipa, you'll pay them to get oh, your own photos. And that photo you can't post. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't own the rights. Umeshika. And they invaded your privacy to take it. Yeah. You see, okay, kuna yo aspect ya privacy protection and stuff and stuff. Zine yeah. tunatumia sahi. Yeah. Mm. Okay, kuna aspect ya, okay, I, I, I would really hope the education that we, we should be really talking about is how should we do this yeah. in a very protected way, exactly. in such a way that somebody who has this has a protection from this. Because, Pia, unajua, in a way, there is now two sides to it, Pia. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You'll find there's two sides of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pia, unregulated aspect of the same, mm -hmm. you'll find this a risky aspect too. Yeah. So but the one people, the one person when you're exposed yes, it's risky for them. them. No, mm -hmm. no, yeah. Pia, Johanna regulations Johanna are regulation. A lot of people don't realize when you expose somebody on your platform, you see now the, the aspect of it's your platform, Pia in a cool in a car Pia it's a kuna vitu zina come into play when it comes to your personal account. Mm -hmm. That's not a media account. You yeah. see media house. Mm -hmm. Well, in media house, now we can actually say he's protected by the journalism codes and whatever. But he's a journalist. He's a journalist. But yeah. I saw someone post a uh, constitution, like he constitution ya Kenya akisema mambo ya rights of freedom no but BNN like is a registered account yeah. BNN is a registered account is a is a journalist but yeah. kuna ile aspect ya your rights stops where mine starts kuna kwa ngalaiza no, vitu you understand yeah. BNN is a registered account yes. like it's a, it's it runs like a media house BNN as itself so it only that it runs on uh, social media because they even do articles they don't just write about it the issue the issue, they don't just the like issue of Instagram. the regulation is mm. we, are, we still haven't regulated the social space right. to make it a formal and space safe. and mm. safe space yeah. because he was not supposed to disappear by yes. all means he's supposed to be an asset to the government because he has too much information to lose mm. yeah. like you know Iyo ni information too much to lose. Uyo ni mtoto anafana shikwa. Anambia sasa wewe ni msisi na wetu na kuprotect keti hapa. Nani ya likuambia hii huyu na huyu na huyu na huyu na huyu na huyu. So tuna get from the bottom of it. From that one person mwenye ame speak about it. Because all these people knew all while. But wakati ya lianza kuongea about it. Ndiyo kila mtu wali come up. Your story ili run three consecutive days. And there was an expose that was coming about the church. We never got that tea. People were really waiting for it. Like we were so shocked. Na hiyo alikuwa mesema. Doa ni nakilinua in some churches. Yes. People 
didn't what, even what know happens that. Is, eh? mm. um, I, I'm, I'm privy to some also uh, policies about the same. Kuna vitu zile itago pia with some policy and stuff. Is the vitu we need to also familiarize ourselves and know how best to operate within the confines of such policies. Pia juna pata in an aspect Edgar Barre's account was a personal account. Mm -hmm. BNN was the media house. Mm -hmm. So on what platform did this air? So you'll find, is him a whistleblower? So should he be considered, and do we have whistleblowers who should be considered to be social media personal accounts? Or as in, such questions mm -hmm. are not answered mm -hmm. by the constitution. Mm -hmm. Hatuna regulations. Hatuna regulations. So in such a situation, you'll find now that's where people are lawlessness in other cooperate. Upon nile party enye unasikia, mtu anaiza kwa point blank, anita kufuata. Mm -hmm. And you know, like no, literally, no, no, as a one man. Yes, mm -hmm. do, uh, what next? But yeah. thank God, I, I think the DCI is still doing a lot of stuff. There. Yes, 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 yes. And shout out to Benface Mwangi. He really stood with Edgar and he was willing to help. He was like, if you need a safe house, just Same. hit me up and I'm a survivor. He's been through that. We hope he's safe. We wouldn't want anyone to die just because of the information they've been putting out there. Like, that wouldn't be nice, right? I know. Okay, but on that note, so we're going to take our first break right here on Chit Chat. We have a short commercial break. We are coming back with more stories for you guys. Don't go away. For Imagine. Thank you so much for staying with us. You are watching Chit Chat right here on White Four TV, your favorite youth channel. My name is Philin at Philin Jin on all social media. And I have the gang gang right here in studio. Our very own Sassy JC and Dennis Bob Minor. That's all social media pages at JC Mogore. Yes. That's where you find her. All right. <laughs> Jacinta. Mogore. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> all right. Now let's move on to another story and controversial act and comedian Omoshki Zangila from Tahiti High is making headlines once again after falling for a prank by Sleepy David and his crew comic gang. Now in the in the now viral video, a somewhat intoxicated Omosh agreed to sell his new house gifted to him by well wishers for 15 million Kenya shillings from his starting price of 17 million Kenya shillings without knowing that there was a hidden camera around. Now Upon realizing that he was being pranked, there was no hard feelings as they, as both the crew and him burst out laughing. We have a video for you guys. Let's check it out. Him is okay. I'm a couple of the same. 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 I'm a couple Wonderful house. I've seen it. I've seen it. Okay, I'm looking and done. Yes, I've seen it. So awesome. Yes. So can we give me a give you? Okay, Sawa Sawa. It's, me. it's, me it's me. a deal, huh? Eh? So I they like. What if if you can point to that? I'm going to tell you how much it is. Uh, Seventeen million. Sorry. The house is mine. Yes. It's okay. Do you have kids? I have kids. The house is mine. Yes. It's okay. 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 Wow. Okay, I'm not going to say anything about this. I'll let you guys take the lead. I don't know. JC, mm? how are you feeling about this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see someone, and I help. Yeah. 
ni se ya kuenda rehab yeah. to almost by all means he needs to go to the rehab wewe unaona ndio page yako yenye hata atujui mika mitijui ndio unaona ita grow through kutekia mtu mwenye ni vulnerable advantage mm-hmm. i really hope he got something from it no i hope <laughs> pia haikuwa planned just squeeze kenya hakuna kitu tunaamini i hope pia vile mwingine hako anajua based on how he was acting he's an actor i have to run. exactly <laughs> both of them <laughs> but, but he's, he's, he's the thing though um this show they didn't just do it to omosh alone yeah, it's a show that he's been pranking different other celebrities but like omosh wasn't the first guy to be pranked mm-hmm. so like maybe he was just doing um his job he's just being funny dennis i saw his prank on kamene and yeah. i would say it was an, an actual thing it's yeah. a prank mm-hmm. which was actually so real that kamene freaked out to a point kamene alikuwa na cars wewe unanifanyia je but this one uh, the fun of it ili disappear the moment i saw omosh yeah. mm. the moment i saw omosh i was done cuz i manze omosh is still struggling out of it usi mse unatajia 15 million you ni kumaliza usi mse unatajia 15 million literally uli mse anauliza you know ushamjengea hao alafu unaenda kumtisha mtu alitisha tu kamera mbili na sijui ni alafu na tripod na alipata alafu wewe unamletea unamletea 15 million na hii nyumba si alijenga I don't know what even how much it cost. Alafu <laughs> mwambie 15 million. Wao unangoja aseme nini? Okay, let's tuulize to sleepy. Sleepy ulikuwa unangoja afanya. As in what was the And aim? he's intoxicated but, but at that let me, time. Let me, oh, yeah. you, let me tell you something. To be honest, if you gave me 15 million to sell my house. Litauza. I would. And then like build four more houses with that money because their house clearly didn't cost 15 million. Exactly. It cost 5 million but, his house. Yeah. So I would, lakini huyu yeah, si mtu hata anafaa uuze akiuza hizo pesa zitaisha na wiki moja. No, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah no, that's the problem. imagine unaenda kutajia. Look at that guy. He's just there. You can tell he's Uh, kind of something else yeah, he's intoxicated. something is going on in yeah. his mind he's so he's not cool. really making the right decisions and then you put this thing and you record it you want to bring in a show out of it as in this other you're putting to a position of making a decision yeah. on camera intoxicated somehow and you mentioned in 15 minutes not somehow very uh, let, let me ask you something do you ah, think no you you're bad yo. have you planted an idea in his head do yes. you think he'll go ahead and like maybe find a buyer i am worried about that he yeah. might he might now that he he, he actually was but on tv on camera and he was like yes i have all the he might, but do you think someone might take advantage of him yes. and offer him even less more money yes. and like just like maybe want to buy the house mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, it's possible uh, I don't underestimate Kenyans. Imagine and another and, eh, and another thing also, who why would you do that? Wewe mwenye unakaa chini upate idea from hiyo show ya Sleepy David, unajua Sleepy alikuwa na prank. Kwanza tuelewane hapo. So wewe ukienda hapo ukiwa serious na huu mse unajua tu anataka pesa. You know like alcohol just makes you addiction just makes you sell anything. Yeah. Ushona mtu adi na truck yatu anaachia dealer wake kiatu, aende na chenya na addicted na to. Hey, if you've never been within kukua around someone mwenye ako addicted to something hata watu hata watu waonge kuwa anacheza mimi ndio maana mimi sikatai sleepy it's your show it's Manya okay game. do it but there are some people you should not touch it's just like going through someone mwenye mwingine mwenye ana go through something like a mental illness you know yeah unajua yeah, like true. it's the same thing yeah. addiction is But even worse let me tell you something about hmm? addiction like we Even as someone going through it or we have been through it. Exactly. Every single family including mine. I have an uncle that is a drunk guy. And he does see. that all the time like he's beyond help. Like we don't want to oh much to mem say yeah. Like it gets to a point mm-hmm. when someone is an addict what one I choke like you are like what are two like that's it like i'm done and they only so, need a hundred bob do you have people have i feel like every single family has a person like that Haikosi. even if it's not like an immediate family it's Haikosi. gonna be an extended, extended family most of them yeah. are extended yeah, family extended members family. Yeah. it's true there is what do you call more than ganye there is It's, a, it's there it's of course everyone has that Every single one person has that. Men, so can you imagine people. someone going to that vulnerable uncle of viewers alafu na muuliza tatanjeke 
even 3 million akakunywa mabikombe za 50 bob yeah unajua like comparison ya chenya kwa addicted to alipo hata kuja home for 3 days exactly yeye anachafua wase anasababisha mta na anaweza wao kujua pili kama ni mwanaume anaweza wao na haja mazi kwa kijiji wanazunguka kwa kile i mean i was guys are laughing but that's where i'm laughing no but because woni vile atuju atuju kwa atuju but story but you know you know Like, don't even take advantage of that. Like, don't take, ad- don't take advantage of people who are like going through addiction. It's, It's not funny. Na kwa mom said there was anything. Hata kwa hivyo hmm. Like I don't know kana angalia ni sabu ya anything. Ika mere ni za kwa donga. Wanozanga mpaka besheni na vikombe. Kwa nini mzee iske hizo story? Anaingia kwa kabati ya mama yake anatoa masafu za wageni. Kile pazani za wageni. Wana targeting kwanza kabati. Everywhere. Everywhere. Kao kao na jo umetoka hata mtaani ka hata ghetto. Unapata na gana msee anakutolea kitu atinyaje buda utashika hii kitu. Unaona hii ni ya home. Unaona hii kitu ni ya home. Au mbona unaangalia una realize hii kitu does not work alone alichukua one piece unakata kwa hiyo ni jipi singine iko na na kuna wanakuja hata juu aji na ni kitu kubwa like they have no idea what it does like me i ever saw i've met a guy a little hard disk mali 1 tb alikuwa ananiambia so na muangalia na shigwa So in unachua ni nini ya zi? I was, I was really Wait. looking at that guy. Wait, is it any 7758k? I said I'm looking no, at that guy. At the at the Alafu na jobile ana cooperate you can tell. He's very confident. Hiki tu ni yake. Si ati kuima ameiba. Ni yake ama ametoa mali anajua. Hata gongo ama apigwe na mtu. Ametoa ati ugopi. Ugopi. Buda, niko na hiki tu hapa. Wewe ndio unaonanga ukidil na hizi vitu. Na wanajuanga. Wanajua. Sasa jua. They know to take it. Wewe ndio unaonanga ukidil. Hii uta bullet hiyo mia. And you know if you even don't take it he's gonna find a buyer. Yes. I was it cost him to at buy. So, let me tell you something. So for the case of my uncle I see what he does like at a peleka and then like gonna try it. It's so funny because it's true. Like he will do that. I love to say when you move here and then and use as a home. He need to do 15 you leave to you talk a coin you una rudisha. I wanted to no, tell you know. person yeah. mwingine na take advantage is like ah guy in any 7k i mean patiana so all on a good day at the exactly. office you see, so you shouldn't exactly. take advantage of people like that that's the same case with omosh like don't encourage yes. him mm. do not encourage him do not put ideas yeah. of 15 million in that. mind as in akiamka hivi asubuhi yeah yeah it had 15 satisfaction yake ya addiction is less than even a thousand per day yeah. 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 so kimpea 15 million hiyo ni kumalisa mali tunataka ache yeah, yeah. it's hey, over God. I know. Yes, I know. I know. I know. For who? For who? For who? I think the next person when you try to help for more I'm saying to to na rehab. Yes. Okay. Yeah, home mm. is he. <laughs> yeah, kama nani na ni millionaire. Fifteen. Who? 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 Now we move on. We move on. We move on. Now Hubert Nakitare, better known as Mugenge True, or no nini if you like, recently launched his own shoe line dubbed Mugenge True Kicks that are unisex. The shoes are said to be handmade by Italian craftsmen from pristine Italian leather and will cost you a whopping 24,000 Kenya shillings. Are we buying? No. All right, we have a video. <laughs> So if you like that shoe you've just seen it on TV you like it you're like hey okay tume waza hiyo ndula hiyo kiatu ni tani nyingine ndula kiatu njumu njumu one and you mean you waza like this 24k only 24000 sisa uganda it's a 200 kenya 240 dollars 240 dollars sisa kenya wewe uko nchuko kenya economy ni 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 ni
If you compare like uh, Nike's Easy Airs and your original, mm. how much they are bought there, mm. it's less than that. Ni vile huku tumezoea kuvaa vitu mbwaki ni nantarudia tena, umezoea kuvaa vitu za 25 na zote tunakuanga. Mnajua tunakuanga na zote hivyo. Can you think as Kenyans though, like can you imagine they are in a shop alafu nina kununua? So you do it at a kufiga. Do you know? Like a kuzile za, niti school fees in Talipa. Wa unakumbuka vile Leslie alitombia hati vile watu wanabanga wig. Ana na 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 ya wig. Make up at least way to. They look at the hair. Hati mtu wameva, wameva, alafu na uzo na hini ngapi? Hati naombia 50k. 60,000. Alafu hati mwoso zembo na kuanga wa zapi. Alafu hati. Na nataka No, but, 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 Understand? Mm. Yeah. He has put in the work. He went, he has designed the shoe. Like it label. has a Kenyan name. You understand? Mm. Mm. Made made foreigners. And then, no, because he needed like, uh, he ah. made the well, foreigners. Well, yes. unataka, unataka But he let the Aikua and Ataka. Skia, skia, skia. You let the Aikua and Ataka. Aiko Uku. We all know Italians are known for that. Exactly. Like best shoes and best suits, right? So there's that quality he wanted. But then it's going to be made for Kenya. By a Kenyan. For Kenyans, aren't you going to just own that one pair with pride? Be like, oh, I supported a Kenyan business. You are not going to do that if you had an opportunity to do that. If I had, and you know it's going to be long lasting. Me, me, I'm not sure that you pay. Me, I'm not sure that I see up. I'm not sure. Me, me, ata ni nazo chukua black, white. Red. Yes. Mimi I will do that comfortably. Ni pesa tu sina sa hizi. Lakini mgenge true ziki come through hata mimi nitakuwa mgenge true. No vile utafanya mgenge. Lakini sikia 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 ama watu mtutangoje hizi shike bei. Of course hata mbona wewe unafanya. Hiyo ni kenya, hiyo ni kenya. Wacheni niwaambie hiyo kiatu kinunuliwa na wasee wengi. Trust me ni kushoot ita shoot price. We can bet on that. Sina jua like how market price inafanyaka. It a shoot. But people are going to support. People are going to buy. We can bet on that. People are actually going to buy that. The thing is by the way kama They like to talk to Pizzo. You know, they like to talk to Pizzo. Now, I like to talk to Pizzo. I like to talk to Pizzo. So, you know, Octo is going to get a pair, most definitely, and other Kenyan artists. That's a good cause. To say, man, this is the case of the Fiki of Mkulima. This is the case of the Fiki of the international market. It will come to the local market. We will have to talk to Mkulima. 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 Genge tu. Genge tu. Lakini maina ya jeu zitakuwa kopi. Lakini watu wanakuwa na audacity ya aje na unapa. Awa tuwa nyo wanapanga wa so mangi. Awa so mangi wanuna si ya didas. Kwa ni kulize. Kwa ni wajui. Ni watu wangapi wanajua hiyo kia tu inaitua hivyo. Kwa ni wajui. Gusi. Ya nuna tu kia gusi. Yo ni wajua ni waliza. Hati kulikuwa na dera za kuchi watu wa kuhilizo dera ziliasa kutolewa. Tinguchi liasa kuproduce dera lisi. Okay, sorry for saying this, but wait for a moment. We talked about him last week, right? Yeah, yeah. Alikuwa menaku, like, he wanted people to help him, like, out, help her get her own house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last week, yeah. And then guys are like, lakini sumeva guchi. Sisa mbolo, mtaka tisindi, jwalikuwa na yo dera. 
Good stuff, Nonini, by the way. Yes. Genge True is a good brand. Coming will, from Kuima yes, Genge True, to producing your own shoe. Point of advice, actually, Mina, is I recommend is sa, to let her sasa zawa genge mtani. To let her vitu zawa genge sasa. Yeah, locals. Yeah, kama matisho. Yes, vitu kama hood. Eh, but I don't know who it is. Yeah. 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 3K. Ani mnalia bei 3K. Sasa 24K mtafisi. Of course, mnajua jua kali genge, obviously. When you think of jua kali, no nini, this is genge. Kuna brands, brand iko sawa, but... Atibayi ni expert. Yo, 3K is actually the average market rate. Exactly, juni nasa kuliza kwa ni zile za rege. Zanya kukanga nazo kutown za roots huku. Zina kuanga how much. Niyo bayi. Tisho ina kuanga how much ya rege. Udasikia umepigwa dhao wapa dhao. Exactly. Na ni tisho. Ukifuwa maybe itakutika hivi. That's true. That's true. That's true. Alright. Let's do this. Let's head over to another story because of time. Now Kenya's first rally driver, journalist and politician, oh, politician rather, and fashionista Oria Rago Manduli has passed on at the age of 73. Now her family confirmed that Manduli died on Wednesday, September 8th at her riverside home after being in and out of hospital and even though she was actually making good progress the former kbc host was best known for her nigerian dressing mode as well as her sense of humor all right we don't have a video for that but <coughs> <coughs> what, are, what are we guys thinking oh yeah go my daily man like personally i'm gonna just start with this when i think about her i think about style She was very stylish, yeah. you know. Kuna kitu hapa juu alikuwa na headgear. Hey. headgear that was just her. Like kimwana, mm. that is her. And I remember one time she was speaking and I, um I was actually listening to her during our, an interview. Yeah. I was like actually really young. And then yeah. she was like, "You know what, ladies? I didn't get it then, but now I get it." She was like, "Don't be afraid. Ukiwata in public and you see you're shining, mm. remove that sponge." Hurt your face. Yes. Mbele ya watu. Do yes. not be afraid. And let's move in the yes. control. And I was like, yes. Now yes. when I grew up, I was like, you know what? I do that all afraid. the time. Yeah. I do that all the time. Man, may you rest in peace. You actually lived. You lived. Hey, you lived. May you rest in peace. Man, this is a I know. News. Mm. Hey, you. Journalism. Yeah. Journalism. As in you. Politician. Everything. 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 She And she used to live in Canada. Trips. Then mm. she moved from Canada to Kenya. She was mm. like, you know what? Kenya is my, my country. It's my home and stuff. So what are you thinking? I just remember her because of her style first. Yeah. To Limjua when we were very young. Yeah. And me, what was striking me to her was her headgear. Always. Yes. And her African attire. Like, yep. she was always on point. Mm -hmm. And on, to be honest, I never knew until she died that she was 73 years. Yeah. She never used Who to tell people her age. But who thought me thinking of Fikiria she was that old? I honestly thought she's 60 something. Yeah. Old, yeah. You know? She never so used to think about her. Like she it, has had three extra years from God. You know yeah. like the age ya kuishi yeah. kibilika is 70. 70. Yeah. You know and she has lived her life. She is a good example to women out there that you're not supposed to be usikuwe limited to being you. You're yeah. limitless. You can Go do a lot. Out, be you yourself. Can do a lot. Yeah. You can do no matter where you are and who you are. Unaweza fanya chenye unataka. Vile Filina anasema mambo ya kupart face. We don't care. Ukifika taona hills umechoka tunasimamanga, tunatoa tunavaa flat. Never flat shoes. If you're the one who is watching me, you are the one who has a problem. Yep. Mimi I'm, I'm doing that to get comfortable. Deno anajua. Yep. Do I ever make you happy, <laughs> Dennis? Yeah. Wewe mnaongea ukweli tu hapa. Sasa. Anyway, Orie Rogo Manduli. Mzee, this lady, mm -hmm. eh ilikuwa tu akitokea kwa news mzee. Ndole, mm -hmm. mzee. Na sauti yake ni commandi. Yes. Hey. And What? she was so herself. I know, right? And if she doesn't like something, she never shied away from speaking about it. She'll be like, Kwanza you know what? Kwanza alikuwa, I think, anashine wakati anona camera. Yeah. I think her spotlight ilikuwa ni... 
Kuna kamera pale. Tusikume hiki. Ai no, nika vile sisi tunaanga tunasema tea room is officially open. open. Yake ni wacha ni sema what I think. Yeah. Mnafaa kukwa hivyo wasi. Yeah. Like we are not supposed to fear anything. Kwani? 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 Kwani you you live your life mpaka wakati unakufa people are remembering you for the good things that una inspire wasi even after your life. Yep. But may she rest in peace and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, see, Assad, it's a life well lived. It's a life well lived. Like, Mimi, we can attest to that, uh, right? Yeah, we can yeah, all attest to, to that. So. All right. To that's, that's okay. That's Let's sample some of the comments because of time. Yep. I wanted. Oh, but shout out to Anita Nderi though. Oh, oh, she, oh, did you see her on show? I think yes. we have that video, by the way. I don't know if my director has that video. Anita Nderi and Hamzungu Bay. Mm -hmm. Man, Yano. And Yano. Did you see her lineup? Her maids, the way they were looking in those African artists, they looked absolutely splendid. I don't know, Mr. Director. Do you have the video? Anita Nderi. There it is. Yes, 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 the yes, 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 yes. Look at that. She went so traditional. She's like, you know what? Yeah. Traditional. Look at her outfit. What is that? She looked so good. Me, yeah. this, this is this this is now what I would call an ideal African wedding. As in, yeah, to itajiki to ingine. This is it. This does it okay. for us. So mm -hmm. as in, hey, mm -hmm. Anita, this was a good one. Apa we set standards. Villa in Afar, cause our buru rachels would never be the same again. Sasa mm -hmm. kupelekwa marathon hapa we as the bachelors soon and very soon tasikia set standard na ile ya meter mimi mimi i'm so happy for her yeah. Yeah. like uh, watu wame criticize for so long kwa social media right. but finally you know like ki, siku yako ikifika watu wananyamazanga and i'm happy how she's done it secretly because yeah. mmekuwa mkimpea very negative vibes she I deserves know. to be happy and it's I alleged know. anafanya harusi currently yeah of course yes and I, I, just want, I just want to know this like you see, we, we spoke about ah. we spoke about juma mm -hmm. jokes wasting anita's no uh, uh, vanessa's Yes. Mm. Anita, we've always known she's Them dating this Hindi guy. Mm. Yeah, the Asian guy. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden they break up, meet this guy, and to my sama people to the nya zika is an ikaman is because serious. Is it because serious? Is it the many years? To get two peer quid, what does it mean as it happened on this bit reverse? It was an angoja too. It liqua growth in character development. Mm. Mm. Character development. <laughs> Alright, JC, <laughs> maybe go to uh, let's sample some of the comments on so, social media because we don't have time. Kwa Facebook, Devi Blessings, Kamukuyua, tuned. Kamukuyua. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chisano, thank you. Uh, Swales Moraithi, Magutuni, to Tukondax. Eh, mm -hmm. easy sharing, tatumaliza nazo. Tufuzi, Timothy tu. Igamba wa Pasture, 237, inio ni theka theka. Thank Be, you, mse wanyumbani. Be, uh, watching from Dagoreti, Wanjikondoch. Uh, Edgar Hansa, Mwanyahururu, Nyahururu, tuned. Augustine. Uh, watching and direct from the Geni, Kisau Makweni County. David Kochomba from Bungoma, thank you so much. Chris Mann, watching from Gongresco, Stesh Tony Nyelele, tuned. Tuned from Machakos, Bewa Masha, thank you. Be, uh, oh, need the Asli Ali change, Gina. Mm. David Miendo wa Kachomba in. Katel was on train, ni conducts. Tena ni conducts. We, conducts ni kandio, the newest share. Right. Nakusema ni conducts. Nani nakuna mtu mungine, mm -hmm. aliniambia from the moment we started, she's been there. Mnakumbuka Selene? Hey. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah, 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 why yeah. not? Sorry to you, Selene. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. Right, Dennis, as you wind up. Mimi napita na wafande kemani, mbogi yangu ya mtani, maze pale, na shukuru sana. Thank you so much for always staying tuned. Alafu mtuende pale YouTube, tukafanya ile kitu kwa Bobo Magari. Bobo Magari on YouTube, toji bambe. Thank you. All right. Sasa, let me sample some of the comments on Instagram. Augustine Kavifia, Nge Ndeni kisauni mwakuwe ni county kama kawa. Moses Bond, shout out to you. Wewe mse wananyuki uko kwa kina deno. Ah. And I'm Toxi, Tech Toxi, MC Toxi, shout out to you. And I watch na Magi. And of course, uh, oh, there's a new fan and he's a reggae head. So shout out to you. Na wasi watu wa reggae head nyako tuned in. And he's just reminding us on Sunday, form ni moja, atakuwa mystical garden. So if you're free, make sure you stop <laughs> by <laughs> this uh, coming Sunday. Let me shout out to, oh, by the way, we're back in Naivasha. For guys mm -hmm. who are just tuning in right now, mm -hmm. we're back in Naivasha every single Wednesday for karaoke. Mm -hmm. That's at Old Station. We'll see you then. Shout out to everybody that was tuned in. I wish shout out to Fidelis. Hey, hey, Fidelis. Hey, 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 hey. Already on hey. Fidelis is tuned in. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. Nakila, oh, I have Clark right here. Clark, I'll be shout out to you. Not Nakwana to Saizi. We'll see you. Oh, Maggie Paula, shout out to you as well. We're going to see you guys next week with another amazing show. But for now, do have a good night and enjoy your week. Weekend. Cheat, chat, cheat, chat, cheat, chat, cheat, chat.